Hi guys, today I thought I'd talk to Natasha um, as this is her first SAS application about some of the challenges and good things that have happened during the process of, of building Easy Peasy Forms to where it is today. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, and yeah, if you're creating your own SAS application, if you could comment in the in the comments below and just let us know some of the, the struggles and challenges and successes that you guys have had that'd be great so yeah what would you say would be one of the most exciting things that's happened along the, the, along this journey along this journey well I can't really pinpoint it to any one thing I think that um, the whole thing has been pretty exciting I mean it's had its ups and downs but seeing it come from a thought and then you know an idea and then seeing it turn into what it is today yeah I think yeah. is probably the most exciting thing like not thinking about all the work that goes behind it but just seeing from like beginning to, to now it's kind of like exciting. building a house isn't it it is you sort of see it coming together yeah yeah and that's it is cool. yeah it's pretty cool cool and what would you say would be more of some of the challenges that you faced along the way uh, challenges would be keeping focus like staying focused on it because right. obviously we have a lot of other things on the go that we're working on and staying focused on this particular project yes. um, you know is really important keeping that traction going if um, a lot of the time you know something might not go so well so you're just like ah stop okay. it like move on to something yeah, else yeah move I'm, on yeah so easy. but um keeping that traction going I think is, is really important making sure that um you're always hustling and yeah yeah and I think from most sort of entrepreneurial's point of view, it's so easy and fun starting new stuff. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. Like, do this this week, I want to start something new next week. Yeah, it's but seeing it through to the end, exactly. but there is no end. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. um, the website, for example, that was so cool two years ago, and now it's like, oh, we need to start redesigning that again. Yes. Um, yep. You know, you don't just have a website, you actually have to keep on it. That's something you have to keep working on, as well as the application, which is completely separate to the website. You know what I mean? So, over this period, have you learnt any new skills? To talk um, about? Maybe not necessarily. Oh, I guess new skills. I've new, learnt new things. Um, you know, a bit more about how to do the digital marketing and um, social media and. Um, things like that I guess um, SEO easier, yeah. yeah and the importance of writing blogs which you want to have the SEO good for and what SEO even is um, so I think it's I've learned things therefore that I can develop skills from because I've just kind of done it you know what I mean yeah, yeah. so it almost looks like it starts off as being a software project but you learn kind of a whole lot of business stuff along the yeah, way yeah you I do think. you do really and um, sort of how to price things and um, be competitive and get that edge and things like that. And then things like email marketing and yeah, that's right. drop campaigns. Yeah, and that's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay, and yeah, what would you say would be most enjoyable and favourite bits of doing this project? Um, I really like seeing the design come together. Um, I really like the way things look. Um, Obviously the new features and things are really cool. I really love those, but seeing... Um, seeing our lemon develop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Seeing, yeah, seeing the lemon develop is, is pretty cool for me. Like, I really like that that part of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and seeing new features come up, come up and yeah, trying yeah, them out. Yeah, and, yeah, new features, yeah. trying them out. Like the payment thing I'm really excited about, the um, yeah. PayPal and Stripe yeah, option. Yeah, so good to be able to just yeah. sell your stuff online in yeah. a second. So good. So I can see that being quite a huge thing, even for people. For example, you know how um, they have buy, sell, swap, and things on Facebook. Oh, yes. People yep. could just post that on their own page. Totally. A button, you know, buy now or whatever for certain items that they want to sell on Facebook, and people fill out the form and they can pay straight away um, with PayPal or Stripe, which is pretty cool. You know, it just takes yes. out. You're in control of everything. Yep. Yeah, which is pretty cool. So it's cool. Mm. So over the next couple of months, what are the things that you're going to be really focused on? Um, my focus is obviously we're going to get the website, the new website um, redesign and everything like that, and also sales. I need to work on some serious sales. 
you should buy easy peasy forms <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so and that is a challenge for me it is um it is difficult to to really push that you know what do you think is the hardest part of pushing it the hardest part i think is not knowing where or how um software isn't an easy sell and i know that from being a human who doesn't necessarily buy a lot of it myself you know yeah. um, if it's a good app I'll pay for it obviously but it has to it's selling the um, the problem and the benefits and um, that is difficult you know a lot of people are just like oh new software and it's not simple either for people to they have to try it out they have to really you've we got to put time, time into to it learn. yeah it's an investment yeah, of your time which it is don't and, have these and days. that's the thing people have the money it's just their time for it, so they don't want to put time into something that's going to save the money and time in the future they're not thinking not thinking long term that's right so i right. have to work out a way to to sell that um that vibe yeah the long term benefits yeah that's right so that's what i'm going to be working on mainly should buy easy peasy forms yeah <laughs> Okay. So next time I'm going to be interviewing this guy. Um, Greg has created a SaaS application before, so this is not his first time at the rodeo. And um, perhaps you'll have some answers to some questions okay. that um, you know that I have, or that other people might have from someone with a bit more experience um, going into this with a newbie. That cool. sounds good. And um, yeah, if you're ever in Wanganui, come to Cafe Twenty Five on Som. Yeah. Good coffee and great yeah. um, little, what are those little ball things called? Um, dates. And great coffee and great bliss balls. Bliss balls. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Cool. Thanks guys. Like and subscribe. Start spreading the news. Delicious pineapple slice here. <laughs>